Today, we are going to discuss melanin production. The reason you are having a dark or fair skin color and how it varies from a person to person. Skin is the largest organ of our body, which is acting as the outer surface of the body. Skin surface and their allies form the first line defense for the environment. There are three main layers, epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous layer. Each layer consists of a unique community of cells with a variety of jobs. As we are focusing on skin color, the outermost layer, called epidermis, is the most important. There are four important cell types, keratinocyte, melanocyte, Merkel cells. Keratinocytes in the surface of the skin and are the front line taking insults from the environment. They are the most abundant cell type in the epidermis. Langerhans cells, important in immune action. They are responsible for helping the body to recognize allergens or materials foreign to our body. Deeper down in the epidermis, right at the base of the layer, we find the melanocytes. Melanocytes are star-shaped cells. They produce important product melanin, which gives rise to pigmentation of the skin. Let's see how it looks inside a melanocyte. Melanocytes are the factory of pigmentation. Melanosomes are the workers inside the factory. Both melanocytes and melanosomes are needed for melanin production and deposition. There are many chemical reactions inside the melanocytes which ultimately produce melanin. Inside melanosomes, amino acid tyrosine is converted into melanin by an enzyme called tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is the key enzyme in the melanin biosynthetic pathway, so tyrosinase enzyme being targeted in many skin lightening agents. If we deactivate it, it's obvious you will get lighter skin. There are two forms of melanin, reddish yellow type or pheomelanin, brown black type or eumelanin. When melanosomes produce melanin, it is transferred to keratinocytes from melanocytes from its long projections. See the melanocyte. It's like queen bearing a crown. Inside keratinocytes, melanin form a cap-like cover around the nucleus. Melanin absorbs ultraviolet radiation coming from sunlight. It reduces ultraviolet radiation that reaches the nucleus. It protects the nucleus from the harmful radiation that can cause mutations in DNA, ultimately leading to skin cancers. When ultraviolet radiation increases melanin production, it increases. It absorbs more radiation and protects cell nucleus. Most of us can adapt to major exposures to the sun by increasing melanin production's results in tanning. Let's see what is the rationale behind dark skin and white skin. Both dark and fair people have the same number of melanocytes. Then what is the reason for dark skin? Melanosomes are workers that contain more melanin and are larger. Once melanosome transferred to keratinocyte, the melanosomes are singly dispersed and degraded more slowly. These factors contributing for dark color. Let's see how we get different eye and hair colors. You already know that eumelanin is responsible for producing brown or black color. Pheomelanin is responsible for yellow or red color. If you have more eumelanin and low pheomelanin, you will get black or dark skin and hair color of brown or black. Eumelanin also gives you dark eyes. On the other hand, if you have high pheomelanin and low eumelanin, your skin will be light skin, tend to get more freckles, you will get red or yellow color hair with blue-green eyes. Several factors are contributing to pigmentation apart from genetics. Pigmentation changes can bell of serious illness like liver disease or kidney disease. Pigmentation can also be affected by chemicals and drugs. Reduced pigmentation or hypopigmentation can occur due to absent or damaged melanocytes. Defect in tyrosinase enzyme. Let's see what causes absent or damaged melanocytes. It can be due to piebaldism, vitiligo, post-inflammatory or healed of skin following insult. Altered tyrosine enzyme metabolism can be seen in pityriasis versicolor, a common fungal infection of the skin. Albinism is a genetic skin condition that comes from your dad and mom. 
In albinism, tyrosinase enzyme is deficient. It is the key enzyme in melanin synthesis. They have melanocytes and melanosomes, but they don't have the enzyme to synthesis melanin. They are high risk of skin cancers. Sometimes light color skin changes can get after a few decades. Autoimmune condition where your melanocytes destroyed by your cells. Vitiligo is one of the commonest in this nature. Now we are moving to hyperpigmentation. Let's see why you get hyperpigmentation or dark spots. Increased pigmentation can either due to increased number of melanocytes or overactivity of the normal number of melanocytes. Increased melanocyte number can be seen in lentigo, malignant melanoma or skin cancers, melanocytin nevi, and cafe au lot spots. Cafe au lait spots can be associated with serious conditions like neurofibromatosis. There will be numerous skin colored lumps and bumps covering the entire body. Let's see what causes increased melanocytic activity with normal melanocytic number. It can be seen in freckles, hormonal imbalances like Addison's disease, where you get increased pigmentation, low blood sugar, weight loss, and fatigue. Drugs can cause hyperpigmentation. We hope that you gained good knowledge about skin pigmentation and how it occurs inside the skin. You can watch our video on dark spots and treatment. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel. See you next time. Bye.